time for your birth. Wait. No, Mom said you were a week late to that, too. See? That was not all, Mom. Come on! Hold on. Come here. We gotta take a selfie before we hit the trail. Everybody needs to know what we're doing. What's up? Gateway Medical Center, ER, this is Nate. How may I help you? Hey Nate, uh, so me and my brother were just hiking and he's been stung by a bee and ever since the bee bite, his breathing is very funny and he's acting really strange. We'll be there in three minutes. Okay, we'll be ready for you. Let's call the doc real quick. Yes, Dr. Brock, this is Nate from the ER, I'm the floor nurse. I'm requesting your assistance stat. We have a patient coming in with possible anaphylactic shock. We'll know more upon arrival. Okay, see you soon. Help, help, there's something definitely wrong with my brother. Help me yeah, out. Yeah. I don't know, he was stung by a bee while we were trying to hike. That's why I never want to go hiking. Come on, sir. Is he going to be okay? Get you back. We have a busy breathing. I'm going to go ahead and get him on 100% oxygen. Brother, are you okay? Are you okay? Talk to us. Talk to us. What's wrong with him? <laughs> he definitely doesn't sound as bad on the way over here. We've got a pound of cold. Pack your car What does that mean? Yes, pound EpiPen, 3.3 milligrams. EpiPen, 3.3 milligrams. What's an EpiPen? Uh, we're giving you an EpiPen. It's going to be a small syringe, okay? 
All right, Mr. Buckles. Mr. Buckles. Are you feeling any better? Are you breathing okay? Say something. Let's go ahead and run some bottles on him real quick. I gotta call my mom. I'll be back. We gotta make sure he's gonna be okay. Take deep breaths, deep breaths. All right, you want to let us know what's going on? This pulse is coming down a little bit. Coming down good. All right, Mr. Buckle, so what happened? Everything was getting tight, closing up on me. I couldn't breathe. All right, his pulse is coming down. Good. His blood pressure looks good. Starting to come back up. We're going to do uh, 15 milligrams. Of antihistamines. All right. IV push. IV push. Yep. Okay. Put IV on real quick. I've been stung by a bee before, but it wasn't ever that bad. So you have been stung before? Yeah. I mean, it, it swelled up, but I, I just took a, I just took a Benadryl and everything was fine. Never like this. Whew. Still. Take deep breaths for us, okay? That really hurts. What was that? You need a shot again, Gabe? It was uh, epinephrine. Wow. We're having an anaphylactic shock. What you experienced was an anaphylactic shock, and you're going to have symptoms of hypotension, you're going to low blood pressure, you're going to have trouble breathing, your neck will possibly start to swell, you have swelling, yeah, your extremities, bad. difficulty breathing. I felt like I was going to die. So what we'd like you to do is to always try to have an EpiPen on your person at all times, especially if you're going to be going out hiking or if you're going to be going away on any kind of trip. Are you saying that it's going to get worse? It's going to get worse if you do not have an EpiPen with you. So you want to have one mounted in your car, at your bedside, and on your person. Maybe two to three. Never just have one because you'll end up leaving it when you actually need it. Where's my sister? Is she here? She's calling family members right now. She should be back momentarily. Okay. I'm going to scare the crap out of her. Well, I'm glad she got you here so quickly. Scare the crap out of me? Oh. Jason, how are you doing? Oh my gosh, I had to call mom. She knows what's happening. Are feel you like good? I feel like I can run a marathon right now. Well, look, uh, no more hiking. I, I'm, I'm done. I'm good. Thanks, though. Oh, come on. No. <laughs> I'm one and done. I'm good. You're Thanks. a lot better now. But you look a lot better. I, I didn't know what was wrong with you earlier. I felt like I was going to die. That's the reason why we don't ever need to go hiking again. Right there. <laughs> oh. All right, my name is Shelby Cruz. This is our group project, and we're going to do it on a bee sting with anaphylactic shock. So the pathophysiology of an anaphylactic shock. Anaphylaxis is a severe form of hypersensitivity, which is an allergic reaction, from exposure to allergens. Anaphylaxis has a rapid onset, causing life-threatening emergencies such as constricted airway, breathing, and circulation difficulty. The clinical manifestations of an anaphylactic shock. The clinical manifestations of airway compromise include shortness of breath, tachypnea, wheezing, strider, cyanosis, and confusions due to hypoxia. Untreated, this will lead to problems such as tachycardia, hypotension, cool, pale, and clammy skin. Management, the medical management, what we're going to do is treat the priorities, including the trigger if possible. 
If the trigger is the administration of antibiotics or blood, the infusion should be stopped immediately. If the trigger is a bee sting, the stinger should be removed. Sometimes the trigger is unknown or has been ingested, so removal is not possible. Maneuvers to induce vomiting are not recommended. Definitive treatment should not be delayed. As in the emergency situation, maximizing oxygenation through the initiation of oxygen via 100% non-rebreather mask is the first priority. Circulatory support via administration of IV fluid is essential. Treatment with IV epinephrine is the first line of therapy. The nursing management, so anaphylactic shock is characterized by a sudden and severe hypersensitive reaction causing a release of a histamine that results in a widespread vas vasodilation and decreased venous return. This results in respiratory compromise, as talked about before, where you have wheezing, strider, cyanosis, shortness of breath, and so on. Skin reactions include itching, rash, and severe swelling, and especially around the eyes. Hemodynamically, the patient is hypotensive and tachycardiac with decreased filling and pressures and decreased cardiac output. Thank you.